I just wanted to see how how far we'd go. How far? Go? I, two, I years. Just had to, yeah. <laughs> two years. Two years. Yeah. The last day we were supposed to meet together. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my name is Brandon. <laughs> how how did you feel? to talk about um, a certain the certain conditions I were in I was in um, last fall um, you you helped me out so I just wanted to um, just you know I, I I told you multiple times about like you know how I appreciate you and mm. your support yeah you know um, you helped me at a not not difficult time because I know a lot of other people who went through so much more but but you know f considering like from my experience I haven't worked or um, schooled at the same time you know so I had to sacrifice like um, you know just free time to myself and I had to like cut out a lot of things like distractions you know so mm -hmm. um, you really came through you know I, I don't always like see or hear um, like like what's it called words of affirmation okay. that would yeah is, yeah so yeah i really uh, it really spoke to me at the moment two oh. times you're like you know i believe in you i see some things like ahead of you ahead of you mm. brandon i need out i need out mm. and then the second time um you're like you know you know uh, what i'm going through but you know uh, you knew that I'd get through it because I've done it before. Um, and like, I'll, I'll, I'll feel good once, once it's all done. Yeah. And uh, by the way, I shared this to another friend of mine, and he was like, uh, he he thought a big, big thing about it was when you said you'll feel good about it once it's done. Just cause like, you know, yeah, because oh, everything eventually is over. Yeah. So, um, do you want to explain, like, your side of it, or how... Well, the thing is, know? like, how I said about high school earlier, like, there's a, there's the junior year where I kind of, like, self-developed a lot. Mm. And, man, like, it's crazy, like, how, how, how much of a mindset you can put yourself in where you don't, you don't, you don't think that something's ever gonna, like, finish, you know, you, you like, you... In the moment. I guess the most cliche way I can put it is, like, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. It's just the tunnel, mm -hmm. like... But the thing is with that... It's just, it's just so close. It's just so close, but, like, there's so many people, other people that go through the same thing that no one talks about. It's like, it's like being in a hospital and having, like, I explained to you, like, you're in a hospital, you're in a room, except you're in a room with other people, except there's only, like, a thin curtain dividing you, but you don't yeah. see the other people. Yeah, for sure. So unless someone like says something, you think you're all alone. And mm -hmm. with my experience going through what I did, well, I mean, granted, not not have been the most terrible thing, mm -hmm. but in my psyche, you know, it was terrible mm -hmm. to me. And I I pushed through it, and knowing that I could do it, and seeing how strong you were, and your will, and your okay. your way to like just go go through everything, mm -hmm. is I knew that if I could make it, I know you for sure you're gonna make it. Mm -hmm. And that goes for most people, like. Like I have cousins that are going to universities and all that. Something like that. That's crazy. Like, like um, college classes, high college classes is, is stressful. Like it's it takes a toll. But it does. It does really. Like like stress can can put a lot on you. Like uh -huh. and, and being being alone. Like I don't know how you know. Just I don't know. Maybe like single mothers or some yeah. or they're or just people who move out and they don't know like anyone in that area this new area so they're like they're, they, they they just feel like there's there's no support for them and you know it's just so scary yeah it's, it's rough but yeah eventually it all works out though and that's mm. even if you don't believe in those words that you say you have to say them because eventually you'll start believing them mm, it's, sure. al it's always gonna get better and if not it's gonna get better it's gonna end for sure and it's just words that you gotta keep repeating if you don't believe because eventually you'll start believing. It's like the thing with confidence. If you don't have confidence, 
and you fake confidence, like you fake being confident, it's the same thing as being confident. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no. Don't think, don't think different is the mindset you're putting yourself in. Mm. It's all about mindset, you know. Yeah, it is all, all about mindset, actually. It's crazy, Just like practicing. You, you can be the shyest person in the world, and you can act as like act, like genuinely act like an actor as a confident person. Mm. And that is you being confident, as uh, you know, as long as you're not you know being pompous and all that. Right. You know, granted, you know that whole that whole deal, but still, that's that's that's, that's believing the words you're saying, mm. even though you like don't like really mean it. Mm. It's, it's and that's what that's one of the things I had developed too is confidence, and that was one of the things that yeah. to me that was one of my breakthroughs. Like, there's like you know that one sentence you get that like your mind explodes. Mm. Now, yeah, everyone gets those moments here and there, mm. but that little sentence, like faking confidence, is the same thing as confidence, was what really got through to me. Mm. And I was like, you, if like it's this easy, how come I just don't you know keep doing this? Yeah. And eventually, eventually, it just became a reality, which I was like, you know what? No, I am confident. I, I can do this. You can do it. And then that's why I started seeing it more in other people. Like, no, you you can do it too. Mm. Yeah, you made it this far in school. There's no way you're gonna stop now. You're gonna make it all the way through. And when you do, it's gonna feel like amazing. Sure. Or if, if if all else falls, you know, you can just jump back to it. You know? Yeah. It's not the end of the world. I mean, yeah. It during 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 midterms and all those uh, heavy papers and like maybe maybe finals or maybe like all all your due dates are compressing into each other really, really close. Those, those and you're working well. really like really hard you know like, like you got so many hours on top of that you know um just just know you'll you'll get through it because you know you probably went through that before um i i although i i won't say like you know if you just sit on it and you hear those words it's probably not gonna happen but like you know you you because you you're you're worrying about it and um, that that just shows that you're you're caring for it, and um, as long as you you move, as long as you move, you, you'll, you'll you'll see through it. You know? mm -hmm. um, yeah. Do you, do you have any other words for for um, going through tough midterms or tough you know, midterms? Just, just, just I believe as hard. as like I'm not the strongest student. I'll be honest. Like, yeah, I'm uh, not either. Yeah, but I think if Despite you. My, <laughs> um, you know, my race. Yeah, no, he's doing good. No, he's doing good. Um, mm -hmm. If you can make it all the way to finals, through all the papers, through all the tests, mm -hmm. and have a decent enough grade to, not, you know, you know, the, granted, if you go to finals with a D, you know, you, you're kind of struggling behind. Mm -hmm. But if you can make it to finals, D regardless, that's, that's an accomplishment on its own because you made it to the final stretch. A lot of people in college just drop out. Like, yeah, you'll see, sure. you'll slowly see There's your class diminish. Yeah. Like granted, some some people have so ha ordeals or something they have to drop out. Mm. But majority of the time, it's because people can't hold up. And once you make it to the finals, it's just you see all the people around you. Sure. And it's just you know if you can make it that far, you, know, you can make it through. But it's gonna it's gonna be hard, granted. Yeah. It's just it's not always gonna be easy, but you know you just push through. You know. I mean, it's it's I always say you know it's cool to like take a step back. You know, if you need to, just let things out. You know, just express yourself if you need to. Um, I'd say like, just just breathe, um, and you maybe count to like count to three or count yeah. to five. I think you said that before too, and then you just do it. Yeah. Um. Probably not that one, but no. I try to do that sometimes. I mean, I mean, like out. like just to just do you know, um, kind of just get up and try to slowly move into. Yeah. You know, back into the what's it called like the mindset of like um, productivity I guess mm -hmm. yeah. uh, there's a lot of good stress relievers a lot of people do uh, meditation mm -hmm. I haven't tried just, it before I, I'm not I'm the patientest person in the world just you know, take take your take a step back from everything just mm -hmm. you know uh, I mean I don't think everyone closes their eyes but just to like you know just you know Forget, not forget about everything, but you know, be in the moment and just breathe. You know, just concentrate mm -hmm. on your breathing. Um, you know, some some what's it called? Some mentors of mine um, 
like their uh, youth leaders. I, I go to church, so um, they pass on some cool knowledge that um, I think that can apply to anyone. You don't have to be religious, but like um, journaling really helps, like because you know maybe you'll go through this situation. Um, you're you know writing all your feelings and uh, all the details you're going through. You date it, and then you keep on going like accordingly to to whatever is happening to you mm -hmm. and then you go back to it maybe like i don't know a month there a few months there years and then you you see that you've gone through this um like like you've told me before just it's just that you're you're seeing it written down and then like you know maybe you're going through a similar thing and you're like you know you you you, you can conquer it you know because you remember you've done this before that was really repetitive, but you know. That was good. That was good. Writing does help. Mm. Um, I did a lot. I did a lot of that too. Really? Writing. Yeah, it's like it's like talking to yourself essentially. It is. Especially if you, you know, a lot of people might not have time for it. Of course, I know like a lot of good friends of yours. I'm sure are willing to hear you out, but maybe they're like going through personal things as well at the same time and then they just can't get to it or something. Or maybe you don't wanna, like like me, I don't wanna, um, like or for most people, they don't wanna trouble people. So, you know, you can just help yourself, put mm -hmm. it all down, vent. Yeah. In, in a healthy matter. I, I feel like everything, like, whenever, like, uh, I guess emotional, like whenever, like, I'm going through stuff and, like, I have feelings, I try not to do anything because I know I'm not thinking logically. For so, sure, yeah, uh, acting yeah. emotionally. Yeah. Uh, nothing, that, nothing goes good. Yeah, yeah. Just as, like, as good as emotions are, acting upon your emotions sometimes can really bite you mm -hmm. in the ass. Like, I don't know, even relationships, on your job, or whatever. Yeah. It can be tough. Um, also, uh, I'd like to kind of, kind of forward something that I actually use um, it's called L-theanine it's it's like a like a molecule in green tea there's there's no side effects um, but like you just uh, it, depending on if you get like little little like vitamin capsules or you get the like the drops or like liquid drops you can put on your mouth or you can just mix it up with water like it, 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 it feeds your adrenals and you'll, you'll, you'll soothe down like I won't say like you'll be completely calm and not feel any stress at all but like it'll it'll definitely like minimize it at least a little bit yeah. oh, yeah, so, I've never heard of that no? no? yeah it's, <laughs> no. it's not a drug you guys it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's totally like natural but um, be sure to uh, do your own research I don't want to like just just give it to you you know you can um, read up on it yourself 